Hi, my name is Gary. We're here in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, it's October 11th, 2015. And I've been asked to kind of give you a brief synopsis of the life of a 61-year-old man. I've gone through various stages of my life. I grew up in a city called Parma, which is a suburb of Cleveland, about 10 miles outside, about 100,000 people. Graduated from high school, went to Cleveland State University, graduated there with a bachelor's degree, went into the business world, had a couple of jobs. Um, I had a relationship in Cleveland that lasted from uh, dating to divorce, 29 years. Um, we were high school sweethearts, we got married, had two children that are in their 30s now and healthy, and things just kind of fell apart. We started the Lighthouse really back in the early 90s. We started going to the Salvation Army and ministering to families with people from our church. Um, and then my husband, who had been a former drug addict, had uh, was ministering to a guy named Jesse. And this guy was, you know, struggled with depression and stuff. And he ended up uh, hanging himself over in the graveyard. and. We started looking for a place and found a place over here on Spruce Street and began to, to feed and uh, started working with people, drug addicts and stuff like that. And then we um, ended up buying the building that we're in now at 185 Elm Tree. My husband worked at the post office, which was a miracle, um, was going to retire from the post office and run the program and uh, we were going to do a faith-based recovery program and feed people again like we had done in our other building and right before we finished this building my husband got really sick with uh, he had advanced liver disease and long story short he ended up getting on a transplant list but he died um, and you know I had to make a decision I mean I worked and I have kids and I had a life and it's like what am I going to do Uh, coming down to Lexington, Kentucky about 15 years ago uh, with another couple who had family down here in Lexington and uh, I had no reason really to stay in Cleveland anymore and so I came down here and I've been down here for like 15 years and uh, it's been an up and down life for me too here in Lexington uh, and uh, I was fortunate enough here in Lexington to uh, run into a lady a little over eight years ago, and uh, we formed a relationship that became fairly close, and we were Lexington's couple. And uh, unfortunately, on January 3rd of 2015, she got struck by a vehicle, and on the 10th of this year, she passed on. Um, so at, at that point in time, uh, a little bit of transpiration came into my life further, not just losing what I had before, but I found myself basically alone here in Lexington, Kentucky, saying, now what? And um, I came to the Lighthouse Ministries here. Uh, coming here to the Lighthouse here, and uh, they've been very good to me. We're gonna be feeding seven nights a week, and, and gonna start working in the community a little bit more than just feeding people, but you know, helping them find their way and getting out of the situations that they're in. We have a new addition here at the building, a mural that was uh, recently created. Louis Armstrong and just a great addition it just perks up the place the colors are good and uh, it's it just a neat 
neat thing to have. It adds to the it, it adds to the building, and it's good for the community around here. And it adds to the community because this community is trying to rebuild a little bit itself in this area. So it's just a, a positive aspect of the whole thing. I'm coming through a big change, and hopefully it's good. And hopefully I can stick with it. That's my story. In this is part of the puzzle. I was just amazed how the atmosphere in this whole area has changed because of this. And I'm so thrilled to have this on the site. And I went back and read his bio and I thought, he deserves to be on the side of this building. And so from the bottom of my heart, Thank you, Sergio. You, he just was so kind to everybody that come by, wanted to talk to him, shake his hand, and just, you know, just tell him thanks. And, you know, he was just so sweet to everybody. And I think the idea is that we can make it a wonderful world. I think. That's what the songwriter had in mind. I think that's what Louis Armstrong had in mind. I think that's what the artist, that Sergio, that did the mural had in mind is, you know, we can put a smile on somebody's face and we can make it a wonderful world. There's a lot of beauty in this world. We just have to open our eyes and look at it.